Welcome back, everybody. So today we will discuss the pharynx and its structure. Um, I have created a very good summary of the pharynx and its part here, um, and I've basically memorized this these, this this summary right here, and I've explained it to Sursky, and it, I was tested on this question once in the ba uh, back in the days. Um, but let's just dive into maybe, maybe more details for you guys, um, and then I'll tell you this the, more about this uh, summary. What is the pharynx? The pharynx is uh, that, that muscular tube extending from the base of the skull to the uh, lower uh, to the level of the lower border of the C6 vertebra. So when, once, once air goes through your nose or um, mouth, uh, the, the, the food goes and meets uh, the back of your throat, th this is where the, the air and the uh, food, as they leave the nose and go to the back of the throat or leave the mouth to go to the back of the throat. This back of the throat place is called the pharynx. And so it's got, it starts from way, way up uh, at the level of uh, the base of the skull. And um, so it will be like somewhere around the roof uh, and the posterior part of the nasal cavity. And then it, it extends down uh, until it reaches the esophagus and also the, the, the larynx. Um, and so that, that whole muscular structure, muscular tube um, is called the pharynx, okay? And it's made up of so many things like muscles, um, uh, tissue. Um, and of course, you can see right here, it, it, it's like uh, all of this part, like, like from um, here, the, the darkest regions uh, is basically the uh, pharynx. And so um, it's a funnel shaped, of course, and its size, if you guys are interested, is written here. The structure it's formed um, from the five layers. It has mucous membrane, submucous coat, the pharyngeal uh, basilar fascia, the pharyngeal muscles that we are going to dive into in a bit, and also a buccopharyngeal fascia. Okay, so the muscles of the pharynx it includes a superior, middle, and inferior constrictor muscles, and three other muscles as well. Um, the constrictor muscles are the superior constrictor, the middle, and the inferior. Okay. They are curved muscular sheets overlapping each other, okay? And it's obvious right here. Um, the origin, they all arise uh, from bone, uh, from bones, uh, cartilage and ligaments in the front of the neck as follows. So this is basically more about their origin. The superior one um, ar arises from the pharyngeal mandibular ligament, the two bones uh, which is attached, such as the pterygoid hamulus and the post and posterior end of the malohyoid line of the mandible. Uh, the middle constrictor arises from the lower part of the stylohyoid ligament and the two horns of the hyoid bone. And the inferior arises from the line extending from the upper border of the thyroid cartilage to the lower border of the cricoid cartilage of the larynx. Um, it's, I don't know if it's really important to understand or uh, get the origins and the insertions of these muscles, but I, I think when you mention them, it'll be enough for Sereski. That's what I did. Uh, insertions, they insert, um, um, they curve backwards, of course, and uh, the, uh, uh, inserted, they are inserted in the fibrous median raphe right here, um, extendal, extending from the pharyngeal tubercle of the base of the skull to the cricoid cartilage below, okay? So here, that's the pharyngeal tubercle, and that's, that, that's the cricoid cartilage. And so they insert into this raphe, this uh, pharyngeal, uh, this uh, fibrous median raphe. Okay, and I will show you exactly what the cricoid cartilage is in the larynx video. Um, so just memorize this for now, and then maybe you'll get a more of a better understanding when we study the larynx. The other muscles, the other three, are the stylopharyngeus, the palatopharyngeus, and the salpingopharyngeus. Okay, uh, if you want to go ahead and study the origins and insertions of this, you're more than welcome, and um, you can have a look at their images and how they're aligned in the pharynx. But I was okay when I just mentioned them. Uh, the nerve supply of the uh, pharynx, um, uh, of course, the pharyngeal uh, plexus. Um, the, the nerves that are forming the pharyngeal plexus are pharyngeal branch, pharyngeal branch of vagus, pharyngeal branch of gloss, uh, uh, glossopharyngeal nerve, and pharyngeal branch of the superior cervical um, sympathetic ganglia. Okay, so these are the uh, innervations of the um, uh, pharynx, and they make up the pharyngeal plexus. Uh, of course, you can always pause the video and study the notes. The arterial supply are also mentioned here. They're just the ascending uh, pharyngeal branch of the external choroidal artery, the tonsillar ascending branch 
the palatine branches of the facial artery, the pharyngeal branch of the superior thyroid artery, and the pharyngeal branch of the inferior, uh, inferior thyroid artery. And they extend to supply the muscular long cylindrical structure of the pharynx. Um, some relations, if you'd like, uh, such as the nasal, nasal cavity, as I told you guys, and then the oral cavity, and then the larynx. Okay, the larynx is uh, the, the, the entrance towards the uh, windpipe, and that's the entrance towards the esophagus. So these three uh, fields are in close relations with the pharynx. Okay, and so this gives you an idea what the pharynx is. Um, there, there are some gaps. Maybe the, this is just extra information that you'd want to maybe have for your answer with Sirius K, but I did not study it. And I'll just mention at the end this, this good summary that I used, and it was enough. Um, the cavity of the pharynx, of course, it's made up of the nasal pharynx, the most superior part of uh, the pharynx, then the oral pharynx, uh, which is just below that, and then finally the um, laryngopharynx. And that's the third part, which is in close relations with the larynx. Uh, and that's exactly what the pharynx is. Uh, through all these parts, of course, you can always pause the video and read about it and, uh, for your information. That's just the part for the nasopharynx. Uh, here, the part for the oropharynx. Okay. Um, and then um, the laryngopharynx. Okay. Um, and so quickly, I've got some specific small details here and there for the three parts of the pharynx and what you can mention for Sirisky, I think you'll be quite fine. Um, so what I said uh, to Sirisky is I explained where the pharynx is, what, it, what where does it start and where does it end, uh, what kind of structure it has um, and where it's located and how in, the relations uh, with the pharynx are like the nasal cavity, the oral cavity and the larynx. And so I started by also mentioning like the pharynx is generated by the pharyngeal plexus. And we discussed what, what the pharyngeal plexus is made up of. It is vascularized by the pharyngeal artery, ascending, uh, ascending facial artery, lingual, maxillary artery. We also said this. Venous drainage by the pharyngeal venous plexus. And then, we, I, then I mentioned that the pharynx is a long longitudinal muscular tube that connects the nasal cavity, the oral cavity, the larynx, and the esophagus, of course, um, as I've just gone through this. Uh, the muscles are the superior constrictor the middle constrictor and the inferior constrictor. And then I mentioned the three other muscles, the sublingual pharynx, the stylopharynx, and the palatopharynx. Uh, the pharynx is also made up of three parts, the nasopharynx, oropharynx, and laryngopharynx. I mentioned in the nasopharynx is the superior part of the pharynx. It has the adenoid tonsils. Look here, I'm giving him some examples of what are present in these regions. And that's that tells him that I have an idea of what's present here. Um, also, it has the pharyngeal tympanic tube, the salpingopharynx, exactly. This is one of the muscles that we mentioned right here. And finally, it has respiratory functions and connects the nasal cavity to the oral cavity. Okay. Then comes the oral uh, oral pharynx. It extends from the soft palate, right? Because above the soft palate is the nasopharynx. Starting at the nasal uh, soft palate is the oral pharynx to the superior border of the epiglottis. The epiglottis is just the the cartilage that covers the uh, opening into the larynx and so protects uh, food from getting into the um, windpipe, right? So the oropharynx contains that. It has a superior constrictor muscle. It has the lingual tonsils and the palatine tonsils, which are in close relations to the posterior aspect of the tongue. And it has a posterior one third of the tongue, okay? Uh, the laryngopharynx, finally, it extends from the superior border of the epiglottis to the carotid cartilage. Um, um, it has uh, the larynx at the inferior end of it. It has the uh, laryngeal inlet. It has the air epiglottic fold that separates it from the larynx. Um, it has the piriform fossa on either, either side of the inlet. Uh, it has the middle inferior constrictor muscles. Um, we can also like, like look at, we can just read a bit about laryngopharynx to just understand wh what it is. Uh, it is the lower most part of the pharynx, which lies behind the larynx. So um, for the laryngopharynx, it is not really the larynx. So the larynx is what is where the air enters. And the laryngopharynx is, is the superior part where the food, where if we go in uh, deeper, we get to where the food enters. Okay. So it extends from the level of the upper border of the epiglottis above to the lower border of the cricoid cartilage below, okay? 
Its anterior wall is formed mainly by the laryngeal orifice. Its lateral wall shows a depressed area on either side of the, ling uh, of the linger orifice called the piriform fossa. It is continuous below with the esophagus, okay? So these things are just here, just at, at, at the, the entrance towards where the, um, the air enters, okay? So that, that's just the general idea. And I think if you stick to uh, the summary um, that I, I created here, I think you'll be uh, more than enough. Um, but if you'd like to read more about the pharynx through the notes here, you're always welcome to pause this video at any uh, point where I'm scrolling here and, uh, you know, you can study uh, the pharynx in greater detail. It's a very interest, uh, interesting aspect, and I love to study this point. The, the one that is way more interesting to me is the larynx, and I'll, I'll show you guys when um, I get to the larynx video. I will really enjoy explaining it because it's one of the things that I really understood and spent enough time studying um, because it was so hard to get around, get my mind around the larynx. Um, but once I got it, it's actually quite nice. I hope I, I don't know if I'm going to discuss larynx in the next video, but let's see. All right. Thank you for joining. I hope this was useful for you. I'll see you guys in the next video.